So Fiverr is a website I've actually used quite a bit over the years. Um, everything from removing backgrounds and photos for my YouTube thumbnails to actually designing whole lead magnets, even audio production work here and there, but I've never actually used them to make a whole website before. So I got to thinking, how would that go, right? How much would it cost and would it be any good? And I do teach you guys how to create great looking client generation websites, but I get it. You may not have the time to do it or you might just be scared to do it yourself. So in this video, I wanna answer the question, can you get a decent website for a hundred bucks on Fiverr. And before we get going, no, this video is, is in no way sponsored by Fiverr. And no, I'm not doing this um, in some kind of effort to tear them down either. I'm honestly going into this with zero idea of how it's gonna turn out myself. Now my guess is that what we get back might be better than you'd think for a hundred bucks. And I'm gonna show you the process of what it takes to hire the right person, hopefully we can find the right person, and then giving them enough direction to set them up for the best shot at winding up with a good finished product. So I do need to stress here, if you want this done right, you're going to need to bring your own content to the table. Otherwise, they won't know what to design for, and they, they're certainly not gonna be coming up with that for you. So if you need help with that, just click the link in the description for my free masterclass, where I'm gonna help you get all of it together in just one weekend. But for this video, I asked you guys to submit your own sites to be made over for this little experiment here, and I decided to go with this one from Willie Phillips. It's a kayak lesson business, so I just thought it'd be kind of fun for this uh, experiment. It can definitely use a little refresh, but I do love the header video, so I'm gonna make sure that we repurpose that in the new design. And speaking of new design, I wanna make sure that I make it more likely that we get a finished design I like. So rather than just telling a designer I don't know to make any website they wanna make, I do wanna give them some inspiration to get them a little bit closer to what I'm going for. So if you were doing this, you'd wanna look around the web for websites that feel like what you're going for not to copy them, but just to be inspired by. And my favorite place to find this inspiration is actually uh, themeforest.com. It's a huge online store of thousands of website themes, and they're usually really current, which makes it a great place to find that inspiration. So I found this particular site um, that I like as a starting place. So I'm just gonna copy the link for it um, and hold on to that. So now, Let's go back in time to a few days ago when I actually ordered our new site on Fiverr, and then afterwards, we're gonna come back uh, to present day and take a look at the finished product together. Okay, so here we are on Fiverr.com. So obviously all you need to do here is just type in what we're looking for, which when we're talking about designing a new website for you, we definitely want WordPress. So I'm just gonna type that in, WordPress website uh, design, I guess, and then just click on search. So now here are all the listings you get to choose from. So the first thing I wanna do though is make sure we narrow it down to price because for the purpose of this video, we wanna see how far we can get with 100 bucks. So I'm just gonna do a max of 100 and then apply. Okay, so now this brings us everyone in that price range, but we're gonna be looking for a few more criteria still. So what we obviously wanna look for is a good number of five star ratings. So we wanna basically throw out anybody who's not five stars and then uh, also prioritize based on how many they've got. But there's a few more things we need to look at too. First of all being, we need to make sure this includes more than one page. A lot of them will be a hundred bucks or like this one will say 95, but then when we get there, it's gonna say one page and then if you want more than that, it's gonna be you know 195. So not even saying that's a bad deal, just saying does not fit the criteria for this particular video. And the other thing we wanna pay attention to is we wanna look for some kind of indication that lets us know that this is an actual custom design that they're creating for us. Because remember, we've got that inspiration website, so we don't want them just basically giving us the same website they give to everybody. So you'll, you'll just look through these and see which one looks best to you, but I found one that I actually like quite a bit, and that is this one right here. And I like this particular listing because not only does it, um, so it's only 30 for one page, but for the standard package, five pages, that comes out right to 100 bucks, which is perfect. And here's the thing, they use Elementor. And if you don't watch any of my other videos where I talk about Elementor, it's a great page building plugin for WordPress that allows you to 
go in and make any changes on the fly you need to. Anyone else who just was gonna be working with a theme, it might be kind of difficult for you to go in and make changes after the fact. So with Elementor, that is definitely not the case. And he's got five stars and 184 of them. So I'm pretty confident that this guy is gonna be able to do a fairly good job. You know, as good a job as anyone can do for a hundred bucks, I should say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on continue. And now it's gonna ask us if we want, you know, fast delivery or additional pages, we do not. So I'm just gonna click on continue to check out. And now it's gonna ask you to sign in or create an account if you don't already have one. And I'm just going to continue with Google. All right, so then just put in your payment information. I'm just gonna use PayPal. Okay, so we've uh, completed the purchase, but now they need a few things to get us started. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tell them to use the content that's already on the site. Okay, so I just told them to use the content that's already on the site. That's all we're going with. I'm not writing anything new. And then I said you can use any kayaking or river photos from the site or the ones they can find from stock. That's actually a good idea. I wanna see what they would come up with on their own. And I told them to please use the same video that is in the top hero section. Um, I provided them a link for that. And I told them which five pages we want, home, about, kayak lessons, testimonials, and book now. And from here, you're gonna to need to give them your hosting and your WordPress login information. So to get that, if you don't already have a website, just go to um, westmcdowell.com slash hosting, and that's gonna give you this special pricing. That is my affiliate code. Um, I do have to tell you that, but it does give you um, over half off. It's $2.95 instead of $8.99, and that's gonna get you set up with a domain name as well as your WordPress hosting. So I'm just gonna give them the uh, site address that I've set up as well as my username and password for that. And that's all they should need. From here, we're just gonna see what they come up with. So I'm gonna click the little check box here and then click on start order. And I did forget to give them the inspiration website address. So when you saw that, it was not in there um, when I ordered. So I did have to go back into my order and message him with that link. But uh, now it's been several days since we ordered our new kayaking site and I got the, the alert that it's ready. So I haven't even checked it out yet. I was waiting on this. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and I'll share my thoughts as we go. Okay, so before we take a look at the new site, I do just wanna refresh your memory what we're dealing with with the old one. So again, what I, I decided to take this uh, header video, keep that as well as keep all the content exactly the same. Um, the design is all it's gonna change. So um, he just got the content right from this page. But as you can see, we're dealing with some kind of, you know, interesting color choices. Um, a lot of stuff that I would consider to be, it just kind of makes it look a little bit uh, less professional than I would want it to look. So um, let's see what we've got with our new design. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's, uh, let me go ahead and type this in here. And here we go. Okay, so we've got the video here. It looks like it's kind of, there we go. It's a little clearer now. It's taking a minute to, to clear up, but all right. So right off the bat, first impressions, I already think this is an improvement over this. I don't know about you, but I think this is really confusing having these two kind of competing messages and you can't really tell what, what the hierarchy is of this, right? But here, it's pretty clear, right? This is the main headline and then we have the, the sub headline underneath it that gives a little bit more clarity. We've got the two buttons, which I don't normally recommend having two call to actions, but again, they were just dealing with um, what we had on the other page, but I think this looks a lot cleaner. Um, okay, so as we scroll down, and by the way, I'm not really checking everything against the sections that they had, so if this were you and you were actually buying this kind of a thing, you'd wanna go through it with a fine tooth comb and really make sure everything not only is accounted for, but you know, no spelling errors, grammar errors, anything like that, so, um, Cool, I like how there's different sections. It all it all flows nicely. It feels nice and clean. Um, and I really like this photo, that's nice. So basically they, I think they, I just had them choose a lot of uh, photos on their own. I don't think most of these are um, from their website if I'm not mistaken. Not super loving the pink gradient here, but that's something that we could easily ask to be removed. Remember, this came with five rounds of revisions, which for a hundred bucks, that's pretty good. When I used to charge, um, you know, 10 grand for a website, you got 
about three revisions. So it's pretty generous there. All right, cool. So this looks nice, nice and clean. All right, yeah, this looks really nice. Actually, I mean, for a hundred bucks, I think this looks great. Um, so one thing I'm noticing is I don't know that it really fulfills the example inspiration site that I gave. So again, this is what that is. Let me go ahead and go up to the top here. So this is the example site I gave them for inspiration. I mean, I, it's nice and clean like this is, but this kind of has different like colored, like a dark blue background in a section. It is like this kind of three images next to each other kind of section. And again, I told them not to copy this. I was not expecting a copy, but I don't think that this really feels like they took that inspiration very well. So if that's something that would bother, like for instance, maybe like for these three, I would wanna see it look a little bit more like this, right? Just to kind of have three photos and, you know, it's, it's a nitpick and it's something that again, when you're working with five revisions, uh, five rounds of revisions rather, that's the kind of thing you could point to and say, hey, for this section, let's make it look a little bit more like this. So, Anyway, let's go ahead and check the other pages out really quick. Just make sure there's no, there's nothing that went wrong here. Okay, so yeah, this looks nice and clean. Nice. I'm not like crazy about this green in green to blue gradient over the videos necessarily, but it's not bothering me. And again, that could be easily fixed with a revision round. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the rest of these pages here really fast. Kayak lessons. Cool. Yeah, I mean, no no errors here. Everything looks pretty good. And they, remember, the cool thing is too, that I this is built with Elementor. I found this person specifically because um, they, they do it with Elementor, not just with WordPress, meaning you can go in here and easily, in a very visual drag and drop way, make a lot of changes yourself if you didn't really wanna have to deal with the back and forth of, of all that. So I think final verdict time, right? Um, I didn't know what to expect going into this experiment. I thought it could be really good. I didn't think it might, I didn't really think it would be really good. I thought it might be fair to Midland basically. When we're talking about a hundred bucks, come on. I mean, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. And I have to say, now that I'm through this and looking at what we've got here in the final, final website, again, with five rounds of revisions, guys, I do think this is something I actually could recommend for you with the caveat that remember, they are not going to come up with any content for you other than they did come up with some photos. They did find photos so, and pretty good ones actually. These are actually better than most photos I'd see on most websites. I mean, they are stock, but um, he has a good eye for it, I guess. But basically for a hundred bucks, I think this is very good as long as you come to the table with your own content um, any images you definitely want to use. And I would bring up that um, inspiration website. And I think you might need to make it a little clearer than I did that this is the what we're going for. Because again, uh, didn't really hit the mark there. But all in all, I still think it is a very nice looking site, particularly when we're talking about just 100 bucks. So I would imagine I don't know, like if there's some that charge, you know, 350, 500 bucks, I don't know if they'd be any better than this, to be honest with you. I would imagine they'd be about the same. I mean, they would probably come with more pages. So again, I would say, um, as long as you got your content together and I can help you with that with my masterclass, but as long as you got your content and bring it right to them, I think this is definitely something you might want to consider trying. All right, so that actually turned out a little better than I expected. I don't know what you think about it, but I think it's fairly strong, especially for the price point there. Um, so if you want to get your own content together and get your website um, strategically ready to be able to hire someone on Fiverr or just do the whole thing yourself, uh, just click right here and you can sign up for my free masterclass, which is called the Wildly Profitable One Page Website Blueprint for Service Businesses. So just click right here and I'll get you set up for everything you need to plan and execute your strategic client generating website. I'll see you there.